Wrestling fans were shocked at the sudden end to one of the brightest careers in the game. His friends were saddened by an irreplaceable loss of a vibrant young spirit. To his mother and sister, it was a tragedy of indescribable magnitude. Gino started his wrestling career here in Houston within days of his 18th birthday. But that was not the beginning. It was the continuation of a dream that had obsessed him since the death of his stepfather following a match in Tokyo, Japan. It took a lot of hard work to increase his weight and strength to the level he wanted them. But when experience and sweat combined, he received the worldwide recognition he had well earned. But more than that, Gino had a way of attracting friends. He had a way of using his God-given talents to reach out and touch those who had not been blessed. He will be remembered as a fine young athlete who had won many honors. But perhaps the greatest accolade will come from those who recall that he helped them just by a word or a touch or perhaps just by being Gino. It's difficult, very difficult, to say goodbye to a friend in public. For each of us, grief is a private emotion. What words cannot say we have put into an expression in video prepared here in the studios of Channel 39 by Ed Worthington, and we play it on this program because Gino appeared here so many hundreds of times. It's our expression of our feelings toward him and our love to his family. <laughs> 